Hey guys, it's Mesmi, and today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I'm going to be reviewing a Korean beauty product. Um, as you know, I'm very active on Facebook, and I've been seeing so many videos of people with this uh, magic stone and them washing their faces and then just them being so happy. So I decided to do a little bit of research, and I found the product on G Market and some before and after pictures, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I also watched some YouTube videos of some people trying it out and um, I'll go ahead and put a video here of somebody using this product. Now my major concern with these videos is that first of all uh, they were using a lot of the product um, in one go. Uh, second, the lighting was a little bit off so after they finished washing their face the lighting was too bright so of course their skin is going to look perfect with that kind of lighting. Um, and the third concern was that they were putting the product way too close to their eyes. And if you see on some of the videos, they were just putting them all over their eyes and scrubbing it. So I'm going to tell you my experience with that. I've been using this um, Magic Stone for a couple weeks and when I saw the picture that they were um, advertising, it had like a before and after and it had a girl with like you know, sunspots and sun damage, and then the after picture, she has like perfect, clear skin without that sun damage. So automatically, I thought, ooh, if I try it out, you know, um, maybe it'll help me get rid of these like little sunspots. So uh, when I got this and I opened it, um, the smell's kind of weird. It smells like a lot of plants put together. I don't mind. And I tried it out the first time, and the first time I thought it was amazing. My skin felt so clean and I guess I was too excited about the product that um, I didn't notice some things. First thing I noticed, it's not a good idea to put it near your eyes. I thought, oh maybe I'm doing this wrong because every time I tried and put it near my eyes, the soap got in my eye. I tried many times thinking that I was doing it wrong, but no, just don't put it near your eyes. First, get rid of all your eye makeup first with some wipes or some like oil based um, cleanser. The more I tried it, uh, the more things I started noticing. After I washed my face with it, it felt clean. But a lot of these people claim that it, their skin felt moisturized. I guess it's because my skin might be different from theirs, but mine didn't really feel moisturized. Um, I was concerned because this is a bar soap, and I, I think you've tried to wash your face with a bar soap before, and it just kind of feels like dryish. It feels clean, but dry. Do you understand? Um, it felt clean, but I just felt like I still had like soap. And so the more I would wash, I, I mean, I would still get that feeling. I don't know if it's like the effects of the ingredients or something, but I was not enjoying that very much. Now the weirdest thing happened. The soap, I guess, you know, claims to clear your skin. I don't know if it helps with acne. It hasn't helped with me at all. Uh, the other cl cleansers I use help with breakouts and help prevent breakouts. This one hasn't helped at all. It's just helped clean my face, but I've actually, I think I broke out more after using this product. I don't think it's a product, I don't know. It just cleans your face and that's it. Um, what else? Woke up one morning, and I'm not going to blame it on the soap, I just thought this was very ironic. I woke up and I washed my face, and then I'm getting ready to put on my makeup, and what do I notice? There is a sunspot like right under my eye. I mean it's really visible. I freaked out because I just woke up and it was there. So that is the creepiest thing ever and uh, hopefully this will help me you know get rid of it or lighten it. I don't know but is it gonna help? Who knows. So overall my review would I use it again? Probably not. Um, I have other cleansers that actually I think help my skin feel better. Um, depending on what the condition of my skin, I use different cleansers and what I need. So if I'm breaking out, I use something that helps you know clear the breakouts or prevent them. If um, I need a nice little mask, once in a while I'll do that. Or like, um, what is that called? Mm, ex exfoliator thing? Yeah. So I use one of those or just an oil-based cleanser. Um, a lot of people have endorsed this. Um, I challenge you to try this. It didn't really work for my skin. I'm still gonna try and finish the product. It does clean, but it's just not for me. I just don't 
feel anything yet. I'm going to keep trying it and keep you updated on it. Um, but yeah, that's my review for the Magic Stone. It's not really magic, but uh, go ahead and try it out and let me know what happens. See you guys later.